All right, so we just pulled up to my newest listing at 1568 Honey Hill Terrace in Fletcher Hills. As you guys already know, Fletcher Hills is one of the most desired neighborhoods in East San Diego because of its views, um, the nostalgia of the homes. So let me give you guys a quick tour inside, show you some of my favorite things that I love about this home and some of its potential and possibilities to grow as a future investment and to make some real money. All right, so inside this house, you guys are gonna see that it is actually pretty dated. Um, it's original to its year. You're gonna find a lot of old carpet. You've even got carpet running up the post. Uh, my idea of this home is obviously to run it the way everybody likes to see it is with an open concept. Um, you can see just in this room how wonderful the view is just looking out these windows. How much better would it be to have a large room to uh, accommodate with that? Um, what I would do in that sense is I would add a huge bifold door right here that opens up about 16 feet wide. It gives you your view, it gives you your access to your pool, um, which makes it great for entertainment. I have one at home. It is excellent for kids, guests to just run in and out of the house. Um, in order to make this happen, um, I would want this wall down because this backs up to the kitchen and I would want that wall down because it backs up to a second living room. These stairs here would have to get moved over all the way to this hall, taken in, and then put a platform or a banister base here that goes up at an angle. Then you could remove all this room and have all this space open. Come check out this living room. True nostalgia. Cedar wood plank on the wall. You have old adobe brick wrapped up in the fireplace area. You could do a lot to change. Obviously, you got things like flooring, paint, um, lighting that you would want to add into this home. But the layout is absolutely insane. It's uh, all your living space is upstairs and uh, it just makes the downstairs a perfect place to entertain and to just open this up, home up and just take all the advantages you can of that wonderful, beautiful view that we have outside. Now let's go back in this area. With the kitchen, with this wall down, you would have to do quite a bit of moving around. I would pull my refrigerator over to this side, change this French door out into a single door, and then I would run, once this wall has been removed, I would do an L-shaped island that is open to the giant living room, obviously, um, and the bifold door. So then you have view from the kitchen that travels about 40 feet of the downstairs living space. In this room, I would probably put a nice post, exposed beams, open up my dining room to the kitchen. Um, that's just personal preference. I don't really care to have a dining room because we do a lot of our eating at um, the island, but the potential is there and it makes it a great space uh, to have next to your kitchen. Also down here, uh, we have this office area. This is great, it's right off the kitchen. I would like to close this door off, make it a single door and then uh, make this. Obviously, um, I would probably put a wall here and make this, turn this into a mud room slash laundry room area because this is where all your hookups are. Um, take that wall down, eliminate it, but this will give you outside access to your laundry room slash mud room where you can come home from work, take your boots off. Kids can come in from outside, throw their clothes in here, not have to worry about much. Uh, it's just an excellent use of space if this was actually closed off and this was just used as an office with the views. So upstairs, we have four bedroom, two baths. Everything is super dated and in these old homes, nobody really cared to have large master bedrooms or large master bath. So you'd have to get creative here. I, you would have to have quite a, quite a process of thinking to, to see how you would uh, want to make this master bathroom bigger if it was too small for you. But for me, I'm good with just a shower. I would leave a double vanity toilet, stand-up shower, maybe enlarge it a little bit, but I would leave it the way it is. I love it, I'm a minimalist. So this room for me as it stands is cool. It just needs to be updated and modernized just a little bit. Down the hall we have all the other rooms, whether you use them for gym, office, kids room, dog room, whatever you guys want, I don't care. But it's awesome because 
Three of these rooms are facing um, east, which gives you an amazing view of El Cap Mountain and Gillespie Field. So at night you can see uh, the landing strip lit up, planes flying in, landing. It's, it's just a sight to see, it's beautiful, we love it. Outside the three bedrooms that are facing east, you have a balcony that everybody gets to share and uh, enjoy the view. You can come out here for a glass of wine. You can just hang out, relax, read a book in the morning. But ultimately, this is what you're getting at this house is this beautiful view. And right below you is a pool. Outside is one of my favorite things about this home. All the windows have been already updated. It's got newer heating and air. It does have solar. It is a leased solar program, but it's only 119 bucks, which is actually really killer um, when you're running a pool in a house of this size, 2,500 square feet, four bedroom with an office. Um, it's nice, you have a, a fire pit here. Um, you have an epoxy deck out here. You have a, a nice kidney shaped pool with a, about an eight person jacuzzi. Everything has an, a plexiglass fence on the east side of the property, so you have no obstructing views of the landing strip that we talked about. One of the things, if I probably, if I were to buy this home, I am an outside entertainer. I love uh, being outside with my family. I would probably uh, build an outside, uh, either a pizza oven right here, or an outside fireplace, a place where people can gather around, hang out, and uh, maybe even make it a nice overhang where you can hang out here in the winter, enjoy outside cooking, do whatever you want with your family. Um, anymore, as you guys know, nobody puts uh, diving boards in because of insurance reasons. So it is, uh, for me, a bonus having four boys to have a diving board. They are dangerous, but the best thing when you, uh, the best thing I can remember swimming as a kid was being able to jump off a diving board into a pool because all the pools back in the day, especially this year built, the pools were about nine feet deep, which makes it a little bit safer to have a diving board as long as you're cautious and uh, you're watching out what's happening. After I've showed you guys everything on this house, now I'm sure you can see why I love it, the potential that it has to come. We are listing it at $799. This home could easily go for a million dollars, um, even probably more. With a $100,000, $150,000 reno, um, you could see a huge difference in this house. It could be a forever home. The neighborhood is amazing. Your neighbors are quiet. Um, they all stay to themselves. It's just a wonderful neighborhood. And this is a view that you can't get in any other place in San Diego um, without paying top, top dollars. So um, if you're looking for a wonderful investment, a beautiful starter home, a house that you could see your family grow up in or you just want to be a bachelor and hang out and have fun this is the place to be it's an awesome home so i hope you enjoyed the tour and uh, reach out to me if you have any more questions